Hi, this is Frank Carmody. So we're going to take a look at how to efficiently make uh, make um, complicated parts in Inventor. Okay, so this is a case where you might want to make a grid or something like that has a lot of um, of a repetitive shape, um, and uh, it would be difficult to draw each line. You know, if you were to go about trying to uh, dimension each line, you'd, you'd uh, run into a lot of problems. Okay, so we're going to take a look at doing that right now. Okay, so this is a case where we want to make a, let's say we're making a, a grill and we want to make a grid for that grill. Okay. All right, so first of all, we're going to take to make a 2D sketch. Okay, once we're in the 2D sketch, we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a rectangle. Okay, and this rectangle is going to define one cell of the grid. So let's say that we want to make, um, we want to make a, tw let's say we want to make a 24 inch by 12 inch grid um, and uh, so let's say each cell we want it to be one inch total okay so first thing we're going to do is we're going to define that smallest piece of repeating pattern okay so in this case that's going to be one inch right so we're going to go ahead and dimension the one inch okay so this is the space in this is the thing that we are going to repeat so this is the smallest part of the grid or the the grill grid that we're going to repeat all right okay now we're going to start to draw in some lines here all right um, so the first thing we're going to do okay we're actually going to right click okay what we don't want to do is we don't want to over dimension first right off the bat here uh, because uh, what we can run into is we can run into a situation where um, the dimensions themselves are a little bit difficult, right? Okay, so now the grid itself is going to be um, a half inch wide, um, or sorry, a quarter inch wide all the time. So that means that we want to have a space here between the left side of the square and the middle, and the right side of the square in the middle we want to leave a quarter inch out uh, on two edges. Okay, so that means that we need to have a, a grid that is uh, three eighths, or sorry, it is uh, so that's one half minus a quarter. Let's say we make it an eighth of an inch. Okay, so that's uh, no, I was right. So that's one half an inch minus half of a quarter. So that's half is an eighth. So that's three eighths of an inch uh, grid. So it's three eighths by three eighths. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a square. That's three eighths by three eighths. Okay. Okay. And how we get this done really doesn't matter. Um, how we get this initial shape drawn really doesn't matter. The only thing that really matters is that we um, we end up with the shape that we need. Okay, so we go ahead and we overlay this on top. Okay, we get it exactly right. Copy, oops, copy and paste. Oops. Okay, we want four of these, so I'm going to copy. Copy and paste. Okay, and this is just how I do it. So, you know, how you do it is uh, going to be different. Okay, so we get four of these. And now we're going to go ahead and move them around. So we're going to go ahead and move it on top of the other, uh, the, the work we've already done. We want to kind of overlay them exactly. We could also do this with um, we could also do this with um, with constraints, which would be a, probably a better way to do it. Okay, so we made this one and this one collinear, and then we made this one and this one collinear. Uh, we'd have that, right? Okay. And then if we make, you know, if we put these dimensions back in. Okay, and so we can do the same thing uh, and kind of go along with this. So we make this one and this one collinear. We make this and this collinear. 
Okay, and we just keep going along, just moving these squares into our original square. Okay, collinear, and finally collinear. Okay. All right, so what we've created here is we've created this kind of open space inside of here. All right, now um, we can go ahead and finish 2D sketch now. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and extrude. Okay, and notice that we've kind of left this space open. So you notice as we select this, we can go ahead and extrude this shape, right? Okay, and remember that it's one eighth inch by one eighth inch, and we want to make it a quarter inch thick. Or sorry, it's a quarter inch by a quarter inch, and we want to make it a half inch thick. Okay. All right, so we have kind of our one cell of our grid there, right? Now the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and do everything that we want to do to this shape prior to repeating it. Okay, so if we want this thing to be uh, rounded, we want to do that now. All right. So we want this to be rounded or square or whatever it is that we want to do to this shape, we want to do it now before we repeat it. Okay, because once you repeat it, it's going to be difficult to change. All right, so we go ahead and do all of our uh, filleting or filleting. All right. Okay, so there we have it. Uh, all right, so we're ready to go ahead and make the rest of our uh, grill here. Um, and we're going to go ahead and use um, the pattern tool. Okay, so we're going to select, first of all, we're going to select the feature, right? Okay, so basically we selected this entire thing. Whoops, I forgot one of my fillets. That's okay, I click cancel. Uh, we're going to fillet that last side there. Let's go around again, make sure I got it right. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and we're going to do our um, rectangular pattern. So we're going to grab the feature here. We're going to do direction one. We just choose any one of the sides that are horizontal, any one of the sides that are vertical, right? Now the default is already one inch. Okay, now on our horizontal side, we want to go, remember it was 24, right? And remember on our vertical side, it was 12. Okay, so each one is an inch. So when we click OK, an inventor is going to work here for a little bit. Oh. Okay, I'm guessing that we ran out of memory, so we're going to go ahead and delete these two fillets. Um, if we were, if you're operating a computer with more memory, it, it probably shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to choose our feature again. We're going to choose direction one. We're going to choose direction two. We're going to go 24 on this side. We're going to go 12 on the other side. I'm going to click OK. Okay, so that time it had no problem with it. And this is what we get. So basically what we have here is we have our grid, okay, but it only took us about five minutes to make. Okay, If you can imagine drawing each one of these little squares in here, uh, it would take you a very, very, very long time. Okay, so anytime you want, you have something that's a, that is a, um, a, um, a repetitive pattern, um, this is exactly what you want to do. And we can actually go ahead and we can make it um, a different, it's kind of easier to see if we make it a different, um, different material here. Okay, so now it's kind of a gold, which is kind of nice. I think we selected the entire thing. Um, anyway, so uh, so that is our grid. So uh, good luck.